Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. We are revisiting Hellish Court today because they just added a really, really cool character and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Hopefully you guys can't hear my fan in the background because it's 40 degrees Celsius in my town, but that won't stop me from making videos. So Hellish Court just added a really, really fun character. Let me show you the guy real quick. Here is our boy Yendrek. He's a joyous little fellow, up to no good, a little mischievous little thing. He's also a bandit so he gets bonus based points for that now what's really interesting about this character is that in this sword fighting game my man is not using a sword <laughs> he's using an axe and it doesn't even look like those fantasy axes with a huge metal part nah it's just a really slick and slim weapon with a very limited contact point at the edge there but you would be surprised at how effective this weapon is this new character is very versatile he has a lot of good defense moves but also a lot of aggressive flashy attacking moves and he just feels really good to play so i decided hey let's take him on a little arcade run try to beat the boss with him showcase him a little bit it's gonna be a lot of fun as usual skilled opponents when Yendrek was a young boy, he saw the team of Samuel Zborowski and Jakub Sienienski and immediately wanted a daring life full of fighting, adventure, and wealth. This guy is literally the backstory for every character I do in every game. He ran away from his family's village and hung around both mercenaries doing very small tasks until he became an indispensable link between the nobles and the world of bandits, thieves, and all kinds of criminals that Samuel and Jakub often needed. When Samuel disappeared, Yendrek remained with Jakub. Now Samuel has returned and Yendrek task is to find out everything about his plans and make sure that the local bandits are still loyal to his master what a based young guy huh i really like his playful demeanor as well you'll see like when he wins he goes over the top <laughs> celebrating his wins all right the guy's pretty nimble he's on his feet you see that we scored a little uh, hit on the father oh as you all know, the father is pretty uh, dangerous to face just because of his erratic movements. But let's get this done, okay? <laughs> I wounded him in the first attack, so the second one was just finishing him off, basically. Watch this, watch this. Ooh! I went for an attack on his face. It also, look, <laughs> look how happy he is. <laughs> he goes overboard with celebrating his wins. Look at his moveset, by the way. It is not that complicated to memorize these combos. Most of them are either a two-hit combo or a three-hit combo, uh, pretty much the same attack. And some of these are designed for basically attacking or defending. And then there's intricate stuff like the face smash, one of my favorites. Always opens you up to start a combo. Let's try and land it on this guy. Yikes! That's a trade. Oof. Yikes. I I did it, but I didn't land the face smash. There it is. That's the face smash into an overhead slash. Very cool. Hey. Shout out to the actual Hema instructor that I triggered <laughs> in the comment section last time because of how I call these attacks. Much love, bro. Oof. Hey, his cut wasn't deep enough. <laughs> All right, let's try a little combo here. Let's do a little fake out. Ah, yikes. That's the surprise right there. You see it? Oh, man. Okay, I need to step up my game here. Otherwise, I'm going to lose. Let me try the pendulum attack. It's like a really cool fake attack. There we go. Let's just let's secure the win here and then I'll I'll do it next time, okay? Isabella. Hmm, my favorite character. Okay, let's do the pendulum swing. Oh, it didn't work. But you see that cool little feint that he does? Hey, it worked. I'm gonna try aiming low at her. Boom! <laughs> I, I love it. I love when he freaks out about winning. This move right here creates a lot of distance. Like, you can cover a lot of distance and it's actually pretty safe. Oh my god, okay. It's pretty safe because you attack the first time and if you miss, you can just charge up another one like this. Look. 
and I just lost my hand. So yeah, it's not that safe. Don't don't take my word for granted, boys. <laughs> okay, now let's do safe. Like let's let's play this safe. Okay, very cool. Ooh, buddy. Oh, buddy, you saw that? I told you, it's situational. It works sometimes. Nice. Oh, Marta, the newest rapier character. I don't have a lot of experience fighting her, actually. I'll honestly just be aggressive as hell and get into her space. But I have to do it safely. Let's bait out an attack and then get in. Boom, just like that. There's the pre-safe attack. It starts like the face smash. I'll actually try the face smash to, to gain some distance on her. Oh my god, it worked. Let's go. The attack basically like puts your axe against her rapier. So it kind of like blocks her from attacking. Ah, yikes. Okay, she got a good stab. That's another stance he has where you put your axe in front of you. And then I basically like did a small stab just to faint and then basically slashed her from the right. That worked out really well, better than I expected. I kind of struggle with Alexander, not gonna lie. He's pretty swift. Ah, I should not have dashed in that much. That was a pretty aggressive dash. There he is. Overhead worked. Nice. Nice. Let's go. If you can measure your distance like efficiently and basically time your attacks so that the end of your axe gets them like spot on, it's very, very hard to miss with Yendrik. X. That was a bunch of feints. You saw that? Nice. Fainting with Yendrek feels a lot smoother than the other characters. I don't know if it's something about his, like, how the character's designed or what. But look at look at how much I'm fainting. You see how easy it is to faint with him? Also, I'm just straight up forming morale. I'm on 19 morale right now. Why can't I get it to work? I'm losing stamina here. Yikes. Thank God it's a trade. Okay. I'm gonna try the pendulum, hold on. There it is, you thought? <laughs> it worked! Let's go! Thank you for everyone who translated what Samuel says in those lines in the previous episodes. It just added a deeper layer to the guy. He's badass as hell. Alright, here we go, the boss fight. Ooh. Nice! Dude, the, the painting feels so good on this character. Let's do it again. Oh, this is such a cool battle. Oh, painting feels so good, man! No! Okay, I need to take this seriously. Hold on. Okay, that's a little trade right there. Oh my god, he got my face so elegantly. Yeah, there was no way I was gonna win that. <laughs> he like he whittled me down so easily. Oh straight in the head! I did not expect that to work. No! I saw it coming, man. But too late. Didn't get my guard up. Nice! That was a good dash. No! Come on! Alright, boys. This is the one. Let's go. Nice! Oh my god, that push into the swing. Ah, he pushes my weapon away and then just slashes my face. Such an OP move. Nice. Okay, let's get some stamina back. Nice. Here we go, here we go. 
Nice! We got his hand. I'm gonna beat an attack. Yikes! Let's beat an attack. This is really risky. He knows what I'm trying to do, look. I'm gonna corner him. My god. Ah! I'm getting getting humiliated here. I should I should I, I better win. Nice. Nice, I got him. One more. Ooh, the combo. <laughs> Holy hell, imagine being trapped in fire with armor like that on you. Okay, let's do this. First try, first try. Come on. So close. Okay, we got him. We got him wounded, boys. This is our chance. This is our chance. Oh, right in the face. That means straight to hell. Good night. Yendrek stood over the fallen body of Samuel, his former master and now enemy. The battle had been long and grueling, but Yendrek had emerged victorious. He looked down at Samuel's lifeless form, feeling a mix of triumph and sadness. Yendrek was aware that his actions would have consequences. Killing a nobleman was a crime punishable by death. Samuel is a nobleman? Yendrek knew that he could no longer live with Pan Yakub in his castle, as he would be considered a criminal. He had only one option, to return home to the Carpathian Mountains. There, he would be safe from the authorities and could start a new life. Yeah! Yeah, I love happy endings. Killing noblemen included in that happy ending. <laughs> you know what? I feel like we've gotten some good practice with the character. So I want to see how far could we push him in survival mode. My lifetime record is 17 fights in a row. Let's see like how Yendrik will fare in survival mode. I got his hat off. That's how you know that someone is dead dead. That's a meme from like those videos in Brazil of like accidents and stuff like that. It was that bad, you know? Nice. That faint move is really good. Also shout out to Brazilian viewers. I see you guys in the comments. Much love. Oi! Hat flew off. <laughs> oh, what a goofy little guy. What a combo, man. Take that. Okay, now the stakes are, are even. Ah, I lost. Okay, all right. I'm bad. All right, well, I guess I need more <laughs> practice with Yendrik. But yeah, Yendrik, really, really fun and cool and kind of different character from what we've gotten so far. I cannot wait until, like, all of these characters are made. Every, every single question mark that you see here. I'm really excited for the future of this game. It's just really different from everything out there. It fills the void that no other game can, if you know what I mean.
And yeah, I just wish all the best to the studio and the future of this game. Hey, how about an Arab character? How about that? That would be so cool, wouldn't it? And this guy looks... What is he? Some conquistador, right? I mean, the helmet looks, what, Portuguese? Something like that? This guy's probably a... Hmm. Kind of looks like a pirate, but I'm not sure. But these two guys, I'm very, very excited to see. But yeah, until another character comes out, this has been Yendrik, the axe character. Very fun to play. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Hellish Court. If you're not subscribed, subscribe because there's a lot more coming. And yeah, as usual, much love. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.